One of the great issues to do with that case is fame and how people who are famous are treated differently and viewed differently, Emma Thompson. The Harry Potter actor explained, the Hash Me Too movement is not going to be derailed by that. But in order for it not to be derailed, we just have to keep on talking. We have to keep on talking and refuse to allow it to be derailed by a case with two very, very, very famous people. According to Emma Thompson's, Amber and her team insinuating that the verdict was a setback to women who have been victims of abuse was all BS. Because this was a case of famous people who are obviously treated differently and viewed differently, and that the Me Too movement is still on and has not faced a setback. Emma Thompson has been known to show her support towards the Me Too movement and she even refused to act in the animation film Luck after the company hired former Pixar head John Lasseter who faced accusations of sexual misconduct. While speaking to BBC's Women's Hour on BBC Radio 4, she released her opinion on the future of the hashtag MeToo era, a movement to help survivors of sexual violence and abuse share their stories after the jury in Virginia found both Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard liable for defamation but sided mainly with the actor last week. The statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the, de the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. The jury made a verdict that found Amber guilty of all three charges made against her, therefore she was asked to pay $10 million and $5 million for perjury. Johnny on the other end was found guilty of one of the charges against him where Amber had accused him that his lawyer defamed her when he stated that she and her friends created a hoax to bring Johnny down. So Elaine went on TV shows claiming that the judge was biased. The jury followed public opinion and that the verdict was a setback to the Me Too movement and that's why they are going to appeal. Is she today? She's what is, what is her next move? She's right. Well, her next move is appeal. There were but a she's number. Heartbroken and... She is heartbroken. And one of the first... Emma thinks that they shouldn't appeal on grounds that the verdict was a setback to the Me Too movement because a case where the two protagonists are that famous is not representative. And it's just very important to remember that this movement, which is about human kindness and is just so simple, really, and has been made so complicated, cannot and will not be derailed by one case. Honestly, Amber is the one who set back years of what women have tried to build in terms of having their voice heard, having a voice that is respected in the courtroom and even in the public. She was given the opportunity to explain herself, but all she did was commit blatant lies in court. She lied to the point where it could see through her stories and no one believed a word she said anymore. Everyone realized she was the assaulter in the relationship, regardless of the fact that the relationship the two of them had was super toxic. There's an audio where she claims he's the one who makes her crazy and he's the one to blame when she assaults him because Johnny had a tendency of running away during fights. I'm to sit here and promise you I'll never get mad. What are you fucking talking about? I didn't fucking even have a, a fucking thing to lie about. What are you fucking talking about? Did, did you just fucking, <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick? Did you? Did you? You're an investigative Stop with study. the attitude. Stop. You're fucking full of shit. What Lied line? When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I am big. She filed a restraining order against him, but we still heard an audio of her in his hotel room trying to beg him to let her touch him and kiss him. Yo. Oh no, I hardly say that all this, No victim of abuse would go looking for their abuser once they get away from them, because what all the victims are asking for is freedom and peace. So she needs to stop going on shows claiming Johnny paid employees to come witness for him, because even without the witnesses, it was pretty obvious she lied. Of non-stop, relentless testimony from paid employees and towards the end of the trial, randos. Anyway, she should pay what she owes Johnny and stop the crap about appeal because she should be grateful she wasn't sent to jail for ruining a man's life. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.